When it comes to your shoulder joint, you gotta understand that your shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint. The ball comes from your arm and the socket is provided by your shoulder blade. The socket also provides an opportunity for your collarbone to get connected to. So when you have chronic shoulder issue, it is going to impact your collarbone which will impact your neck, which will impact your mid-back because your collarbone is connected to your chest bone, which is your mid-back. So in order to address a shoulder issue, the neck, mid-back, the arm, shoulder blade have to be addressed. Otherwise, we will continue having the issues. When people have rotator cuff issues that means all of those issues need to be addressed and a shoulder surgery to fix the torn rotator cuff is not going to take away the biomechanical faults that reside within that joint complex so in order to address these issues we need to look at the mobility of the shoulder blade of mid back of the neck and the arm. That's a lot of areas that now you're thinking, oh my gosh, so many things. I guess everything is connected. Yes, that's such an understatement. Everyone says it, but when it comes to their treatment, they fail to realize that connection needs to be addressed or the problem comes. Start paying attention to your biomechanical issues from a functional mobility perspective and learn the um, principles of movement, which are so crucial in preventing injuries and causing issues that basically take away your ability to be active. And, you know, we're all about uh, the, you know, rejuvenation and uh, uh, longevity, but we fail to do the very things that are so simple to do. I hope this information made sense. If you're not following us on social media, you may want to consider doing that. I post a lot of tips. Some of the videos are longer. Some of them are shorter and more of an information and heads up and uh, red flags that you need to be aware of. Bottom line is my goal is to share with you what I know from being in practice for as long as I have been. And I hope that you found the information valuable. Until next time, take care.